Sparks in the Straits. This is Rabbi Yaakov Trump and it is a pleasure to be learning with you once again. Let's try to appreciate where we are and where we're going during this period of the three weeks. As we proceed, we feel the restrictions, we feel the oppression of the time as we move towards the Tisha B'Av. When we look around at us, when we think about our perspective of where we are at 2,000 years of history, in a certain sense, it's hard to correlate. At the, uh, we were talking about in the last 70 years, having experienced statehood, having experienced a national army, experienced an upsurge in learning of Torah, nationhood, identity, Kirov. And on the one hand, and on the other hand, we still st sit on Tishvab, singing and chanting, Eicha, how? The Medrash in Eicha Rabba, in Sikhto Dala, the fourth introduction, explains in a very interesting way the connection that perhaps we have with Eicha. And that is the word Eicha actually comes from a much earlier source. The Midrash tells us that if you look in Bereshis Peregimel, the very beginning of the Torah itself, the Torah tells us this a, a, a story which sounds actually somewhat familiar. Adam and Chava are placed in the Garden of Eden. They're given explicit instructions what to do, what not to do. And they fail. They're not able to wait. They actually indulge in the pleasures of the Garden at the time. They don't appreciate what they were given and the restrictions necessary to safeguard that. HaKadosh Baruch Hu turns to Adam and he says, Ayako, where are you? Same word as Eicha, Aleph, Yud, Chof, He. Same word, same letter, just pronounced a little differently. Says the Medrash, just like Adam got this gift, didn't appreciate the gift and lost it, on the macro scale, we the nation of Israel went into the land, got the instructions, ignored them, and were rejected from the land. In a certain sense, we were just simply patterning again what Adam and Chava did themselves, hence the parallel between the word Eicha and Ayeka. If you think about it really more deeply, that's exactly what Eicha is saying. Eicha is saying, how? How could it have been? Where's the loss of potential? But more poignantly, Ayeka, where are you? Where are you going? What are you trying to do with your life? Are you appreciating on a daily basis what you really have? Or are you, thinking about, are you always thinking about what's next? Or are you always trying to think about the next frontier? and not appreciating the here. Sometimes enough, we only appreciate things when we lose them. What we're supposed to be le learning from the three weeks, from this period, as we get towards Tisha B'Av, is to think about the gifts that we are given by HaKadosh Baruch Hu in our lives, on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it be family, friends, success, wealth, ideas, the ability to be able to actualize ourselves in today's day and age. Think about these things and appreciate them intrinsically, not from them being taken away. And ask ourselves on a daily basis, Ayenu, where are we? Are we able to appreciate our daily gifts? Mesashim, we should be Zoichim to return to the land of Israel and appreciate it intrinsically. In the meantime, have a wonderful and meaningful day.